All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So the Pittsburgh Steelers yesterday afternoon lost 31 to 17 against the Buffalo Bills. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But first, we have to rant. I don't want to do it. You guys don't want to hear it, but it needs to be done. The Pittsburgh Steelers loss yesterday marks their fifth straight playoff loss. It took the Buffalo Bills 21 whole points before the Pittsburgh Steelers first put points on the board offensively back in 2021 in the wild card against the Chiefs. They threw up 35 before the Pittsburgh Steelers scored their first playoff points in 2020, the year before against the Cleveland Browns. They hung up 28 on the Steelers before the Steelers first scored offensive points. And then all the way back in 2017 in the divisional round against the Jacksonville Jaguars, they hung up 21 on Pittsburgh before Pittsburgh's first offensive points. Now, this isn't working, and I will admit when I was wrong, I watched, first off, all offseason, I was getting so hyped up. And the thing is this, the Pittsburgh Steelers just need a quarterback, and they just need an offensive coordinator. I think Mike Tomlin is a phenomenal coach. If they decide to go in a different route, that's what they decide, but I hope he is the head coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers next season. Kenny Pickett is not the guy. Mitch Trubisky is not the guy. Mason Rudolph is a guy, but I don't think he's the guy. Folks, the Pittsburgh Steelers went three whole years without having a 400-yard game. Kenny Pickett, in 24 starts, has 13 touchdown passes. I watched, like, the Falcons play my Green Bay Packers. You can watch, like, a Falcons-Vikings game with Desmond Ritter and Nick Mullins and both teams will have over 400 yards. Like This just is not working. So we're going to talk about this in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with a couple of Steelers videos every single week. Steelers fans, I know this sucks. It really does. Uh, but it is what it is. I still think you have a really good roster. But before we get into it, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, try to get 250 likes on tonight's video. That would mean the absolute world to me. It makes me think back to like the 2013-2018 era where the Pittsburgh Steelers had Todd Haley as their offensive coordinator. Now, this wasn't really talked about too much because they didn't appear in a Super Bowl, but that was when Big Ben absolutely thrived. And, uh, you know, Todd Haley, like it just worked. Now, yesterday, the Pittsburgh Steelers lost that game because of turnovers. And I was not a fan of the game being postponed. We haven't made a Steelers video since the game was officially postponed. I, I was not a fan of that. I understand. Uh, I didn't even want to talk about it. You can't turn the ball over in playoff football games and expect to win it. All right. We could sit here. We can nitpick the George Pickens fumble. But when I'm watching your team down 14 points with five, six ish minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, and your first play, your first play call, on first and 10, when you get the ball back down, two possessions is a run. It's just clear as day. And um, the point is this. The culture and the atmosphere that Mike Tomlin and this Pittsburgh Steelers have, it's legit. But you need to figure out the quarterback. It took this team like 16, 15 freaking weeks to realize, oh, wow. Our third string technically quarterback and Mason Rudolph is the best QB on the roster. Now, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to sign a quarterback in free agency or they're going to have to draft a quarterback. Now, if you decide to sign a QB and sign an offensive coordinator, I would imagine Mike Tomlin is back. But if Mike Tomlin, let's say, steps away, he's got a year left on his contract. He walked off the presser when he was asked about that. Fully understand that. You're pissed off with that recent loss. Now you got to talk about it. Now you got to talk about your future. Like there's bigger fish to fry here. If they decide to go with a new quarterback, I do think Mike Tomlin would, would maybe step away or maybe Mike Tomlin steps away and they decide to draft a quarterback and go in a new route. The point is the Pittsburgh Steelers roster is way too talented. Specifically, I mean, their defense is loaded. And I understand it, man. You're playing without TJ Watt and that's a big deal. And I understand it. But my point isn't really about yesterday's game. My point is I have Najee Harris. I have Jalen Warren. I have an above average offensive line. I have Pat Fryermuth, who's coming off a season with 308 yards. 308 yards. 32 catches, 308 yards, two touchdowns. What does that do for me? He's not that bad. He's not a bad tight end. He's a severely above average tight end. Those are his season statistics. I have George Pickens. 
one of the most enticing young rising star wide receivers in the National Football League. I have Deontay Johnson, who's as consistent as they come. I've got Calvin Austin in my back pocket. You should not be the 28th ranked offense, no matter what happens. Like I said, I'm watching Nick Mullins throw for 400 yards against good defenses. This is a coaching issue. This is a quarterback issue. Now, Mason Rudolph comes in here. They put up a couple 400 yard games. They put up back, you know, they put up a couple of 30 point games. They win out the rest of the season, but the point still stands. It's a quarterback issue. You need an offensive coordinator. Look at the Baltimore Ravens with Todd. You just need an offensive coordinator and you just need a quarterback, whether it's Mason Rudolph, whether it's a free agent acquisition and to bring in some, I'm thinking like, you know, something similar to what Baker and Kyle Trask, what they did in Tampa Bay. Maybe you draft one, maybe you trade up, you know, you try and get cheaper, you try and get younger, you try and get more athletic on the defensive side. They dealt with too many injuries defensively, but the point still stands, man. They're way too talented of a roster defensively and more specifically offensively to be putting up like 16 points per game. It's just ridiculous. It's not working. Times change. Eras change. Maybe defense doesn't win championships anymore. Points. You need points. You need to put points on the board. You don't need Patrick Mahomes. You don't need a Jalen Hurts of last year. You don't need a Lamar Jackson. You just need something better than Kenny Pickett, Mitch Trubisky, and Mason Rudolph if you want to make some noise in the postseason. Five straight postseason losses should be enough to do something. Change is needed. Whatever the change is going to be, that's up to our own personal opinions. That's up to the Pittsburgh Steelers to decide. But change needs to happen. And I hate making this video. I hate talking negatively, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are a team that I coined for 13 wins, and I guarantee you they would have won 13 games if they had an upgrade at the quarterback position because their roster is one of the best in the National Football League, and I don't think the issue is Mike Tomlin. Now, I don't think you need to move on from Mike Tomlin. He's not the issue. But the solution isn't to just keep doing what you've been doing because you're going to keep seeing the same results. Insert the Dark Knight Joker quote about, uh, what is it, craziness, whatever the hell it is. Change is coming, hopefully. And uh, I'm really curious what Pittsburgh Steelers fans have to say. There isn't much to talk about yesterday's game. I hated it. Uh, you know, the Josh Allen fakes, fake dives for long touchdown runs, 52-yard touchdown run, that pisses me off. The dives finally gets hit, not even in the head, and gets the penalty. Like, it just pisses me off. But uh, change needs to happen. And uh, Steelers fans especially, what is the change you want to see? Let me know down below. As always, hit the like button. Hit that sub button for more. And we'll see you soon. Peace. Head up. Keep your chin up, baby. All hope is not lost. Pittsburgh Steelers, all things considered, still won 10 games.